Focus is the number one thing a person needs to get anything significant done in this multi-device, multi-channel, multitasking world. And when you're running a team, the better your team can focus, individually and collectively, the faster that you'll move towards your goal. Hey, my name's Alice Cleanthus, and I'm Director of Strategy and Innovation at Web Profits. And today I'll be sharing some of the things we do at Web Profits to help our team stay focused. Now, having run an agency and now a consultancy for more than 13 years, I can tell you that the battle for focus is real. It's something I'm passionate about and a big focus for us at Web Profits. Why? Because the biggest wins in business happen when you can focus your team on one big thing for an extended period of time and get it done. The more you can do that, the more big things you'll get done and the faster you'll move the needle. So, in a world of Facebook, Slack, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Messenger, Twitter, email, plus coworkers, team members, clients and multiple conflicting priorities, what do you do? Well, here are some of the things we do at Web Profits. Every Tuesday we have no meeting day where the entire team focuses on getting deep work done. Slack is off, emails are off, there are no interruptions. We have work from home days where the more senior people can work from home a day a week or more if needed. Self-starters can get a lot of high value work done from home and we're the type of company that loves self-starters. We have feel the focus sessions where teams working on the same client can get together and focus on just that client. They end up getting a ton of stuff done simply by sitting side by side and vibing off each other. We encourage our team to block out time in their calendar to work on the bigger tasks that require sustained focus. And we've created areas around the office where people can do it without interruption. We also suggest that people to take time and sit at a cafe or go to a park if they need to do something that requires fresh or bigger thinking because changing up the environment can really help the creative juices flow. Now, if you're a leader or manager, the tendency is to continually push new ideas on your team with the aim of driving more growth. I get it. But this can sometimes work against you. Why? Because it's easy to overload and overwhelm your team, pushing them to their limits, where they can't focus on anything anymore because there's so much to do. And I know because I've been guilty of this in the past. So one of the things we've done as a team at Web Profits, and I think that this has had a huge impact across the team, is to have a North Star metric for the entire company that everyone focuses on and to give people the space to work on the one or two things each week that contribute to that goal. And importantly, not to introduce anything new. Because sometimes the best way to help your team stay focused is to give them the space, not just the time, to actually focus. So that's it for today. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and talk soon.